I, I just think it's lovely to be, I mean, I've, d I've done a couple of shows with ITV this year and it's lovely to be invited to, to celebrate 60 years of broadcasting with them. And apparently the Palladium's where they had their first live show, so it's quite apt that we're all here. Well, this year I've just had a, um, a lovely year. I've just done a, a, a version of Peter Pan called Peter and Wendy, which I think is going to be on ITV Unboxing Day. And then uh, Houdini and Doyle, I'm playing a, a kind of... Uh, prominent suffragette in the early 1900s who gets embroiled in a, in a sort of murky murder mystery with Houdini and Doyle solving the case. <laughs> the suffragette movement is being celebrated on the big screen and the small screen quite a lot at the moment. Um, why do you think it's particularly important at this moment to look back at that particular period of our history? Well, I feel like there, there's, a, a, I mean, there's another wave of feminism at the moment and I think it's anything that catches on that wave is brilliant. Um, as a feminist myself, I think it's important. Um, I haven't seen that suffragette movie. I'm dying to go. I'm hoping to go to a late screening tonight after the party. <laughs> Peter Pan is a, a timeless classic. Um, what can we expect from this particular Boxing Day version? Well, it's kind of a retelling of Peter Pan where it's the, the classic Neverland story, but it's um, set against the, the modern day backdrop of Great Ormond Street Hospital. So it's a little bit different and um, I play Mrs. Darling, but in the old tradition of actors playing dual roles, I also play um, Julie Rose, who's the mother of Lucy Rose, who also happens to be Wendy, if that's not too confusing. Not at all.